I don't have issues binging. I had a couple candy bar binges. Don't baby me. It's a light bright. It is what it is. I am very honest. I honestly do not care for people. Oh, baby, baby. I just heard a gunshot. Did you guys hear that? I look the same as I always do. The cutie. Potatoes, man. We decided to break up. Destiny broke up with me. We have broke up. Feline and I have broken up. I never felt so heartbroken in my life because I love Crystal more than I have ever loved anybody in my whole life. Destiny is my everything and she is the most incredible person in the world. I loved Becky, love Becky way more than I ever loved Destiny. Like the relationship I had with Feline was literally the most passionate relationship I've ever been in. I cried more times than I could ever imagine. I have cried every single time I shut off the camera. I was having, while she was sleeping, I was having anxiety attacks, I was crying, like, that was hard, like. I have done nothing but literally cry and cry and cry and cry for the last, like, 24 hours. This is one of the most painful things I've had to go through. And it's like, I look at everything I've been through in my life, and this hurts me the worst ever. It feels like I was hit by a truck a million times over, just repeatedly over and over and over. I was so broken. I was so depressed. Anything I'd look at, I would just cry. Her breaking up with me has done damage to my heart. Um, it's completely broken after the breakup with Crystal and the breakup with Destiny. But as much as those hurt, it just doesn't even compare. I just can't even explain it. Like knowing that one day, like, I'm just gonna wake up and she's not there. It's, um, it's a different different type of pain and there's so many times where i look at her and i just want to hold her and hug her and tell her how much i love her just to think of the first time me and destiny ever met and how amazing it was i never felt like that before but this is like i can't listen to music i can't watch movies i can't watch tv shows because everything makes me think of becky and like everything i look at is just like Nothing feels the same, like everything just feels so like insignificant. I just look around at everything and it's like I look over in my kitchen and I'm like, that's the first place she kissed me. I was in this relationship thinking we'd be together forever because that's what we'd say. You as a person can have your whole future planned out, your whole just everything so planned out and you think you have everything going for you and someone can just kind of rip that away from you and completely take that from you and i feel like that's what destiny did we had so much planned because i can't imagine you not being in my life because like i envisioned my whole future with her crystal really is my everything and now, like, she's not my girlfriend, she's my best friend. Destiny will always be a part of my life because she is literally just everything to me. But, like, Becky's my best friend. Because Feline is my best friend and I'm her best friend. And I don't really know what to say. I don't really know what to say, so... I don't know what to say. We have a connection that I don't think we'd ever be able to find with anybody else. One of the best things that have is that has ever happened to me was being hers. But I cannot see myself ever remotely looking at someone like I looked at you. She's she's my other half of my heart. It's very confusing situation because I'm still living with her. We do still live together. And when we move out, we're gonna be moving out at the same time. I will be moving. She will be moving. I 
have some things I have to work through. I have to work on myself for myself. Me and her are going to do this together. We're going to work through this together. Whenever both of us are hurting, we're going to be there for each other. And I need a shoulder. I need a shoulder to cry on, but I don't have anybody. Sometimes love isn't enough. Yeah, because sometimes love just isn't enough. Love just isn't enough sometimes.